There is so much to learn from nature. Every little bee and butterfly prepares before it takes flight. Every airline uses Six Sigma for safety and has checklists for everything. The question here is that, are we prepared enough before we undertake a surgery? Standardization for all processes related to surgery is crucial. This video gives you a glimpse of our processes for a safe cataract surgery. It was made with the intention to reach every cataract surgeon in the most rural areas of the world. Every patient deserves a safe surgery. As cataract surgeons, uh, while training and later, the entire focus is on mastering the art of surgery. March 2020 issue of the Journal of Patient Safety showed that ophthalmology had the largest proportion of wrong patient, wrong eye, wrong implant errors. We want to draw the attention of every cataract surgeon to a systematic approach to patient safety during cataract surgery. Preoperative safety goals includes assessing and explaining ocular risk factors, optimize comorbidities and take written informed consent from every patient prior to surgery. Infective foci are ruled out, drug allergies are checked and all medications the patient is on are documented. It is also important to assess and allay patient anxiety. Special precautions are taken in case of patients with high systemic risk factors, one-eyed patients, presence of hearing disability, mental illness or claustrophobia, and in cases where patient cannot lie flat and still, use a checklist and do not rely on memory alone. The safety goals on the day of the surgery are ensure that we have the correct patient, the correct eye of the patient, and the correct procedure. Ensure correct intraocular lens design and IOL power both outside and inside the operation theater. Ensure the availability of a backup intraocular lens. Ensure that all vital parameters are checked and within permissible limits. Document all vital parameters. It is important to check, document the expiry date and batch number of all the intracameral drugs. Also, the expiry date of the irrigation fluid and ensure the clarity against background light and rule out micro leaks by squeezing. In addition to what we have seen right now, we also, on the day of the surgery, ensure that all our equipments are working properly. We ensure the readiness for any ophthalmic complication and medical emergencies. And last but not the least, we ensure that all our instruments are sterile by checking the indicator uh, strips of the autoplay machine. We are now ready to receive the patient inside the operation theater. We deal with elderly patients with comorbidities in ophthalmic practice. Medical emergencies can happen anytime, before, during and after the surgery. Readiness to deal with them is our duty. Training staff on basic life support, monitoring vitals, and availability of necessary medicines and equipment is a must. Some events should never happen. Wrong patient, wrong procedure, and wrong implant. An OT list which is not verified, not documented, using unapproved abbreviations and illegible handwriting are the major causes behind these errors. There is only one tool for safe surgery, the surgical safety checklist. Patient safety is utmost importance to us. A part of patient safety involves safe surgery, which involves three components, sign-in, time-out and sign-out. He is Mr. Nagalita, which is left eye, paper control incision, 23.5 after toric T4. 
After the surgery is done, we make the patient sit and announce sign out, ensuring that the patient is stable and fit to leave the operation theater, checking the vitals of the patient. To meet the safety goals at the time of discharge, examination by the ophthalmologist is a must. Educating them about early warning signs of a complication and how to reach out for emergency care is of great importance. Discharge summary to be given to every patient. Human beings make mistakes because of faulty systems and processes. Well thought out systems and well trained team is essential for a safe surgery. A culture of safety is a result of an environment which encourages the ownership of processes. Adverse event reporting and regular training. Determine and reduce risk factors. Use checklist. Communicate and document. Standardize and monitor so that every protocol is followed every day, every time. A team together can make every surgery safe. When an ophthalmologist takes leadership both inside the operation theatre and outside, the quality of care and patient safety improves automatically. A team which is valued and respected is more likely to follow protocols.